It all started early Saturday morning with an argument between 25-year-old Jovan Belcher and his girlfriend, Cassandra Perkins. At around 8 a.m., Kansas City police responded to their home, where Perkins was gravely wounded, having been shot multiple times. Minutes later, officers responded to another call, this one at the Kansas City Chiefs practice facility, where Belcher had shown up. When the officers arrived, when they were pulling up, they actually observed a black male who had a gun to his head, and he was talking to a couple of coaches out in the parking lot. Uh, as officers pulled up and uh, began to park, that's when they heard the gunshot, and uh, it appears the individual took his own life. The apparent murder-suicide ended Belcher's run of success. That took him from West Babylon, New York, to Maine, where he played football. A standout all-around campus, he was named a captain and earned All-American honors. Off the field, Belcher hit the books, graduating in three and a half years, mentoring as a big brother on the side. Coach Jack Cosgrove says the events of Saturday do not reflect the character of the young man he knew. All I remember is a smile. I'm hard pressed to, to find or recall a young man who had more uh, of an impact in a positive way on his teammates and his football family. Uh, in my time here. The most innocent victim in this unthinkable tragedy, Belcher and Perkins three month old daughter. And now the Chiefs, the Black Bears and the nation are left in remembrance and mourning. I always felt there was a special glue uh, that uh, kind of sticks to somebody who plays up here. Um, we create a family atmosphere and we like to think that uh, sorry, uh, that that doesn't go away, that that's, I don't know, it's super glue, I guess. And uh, there's a real sense of loss. In Orono, today. I'm Brittany Devane. And especially for his teammates, I think, that were the beneficiaries of, of a picture of a, of a young man.